I'm so happy that I'm outside, even though it's negative 20 Celsius right now, guys. I'll put the Fahrenheit up here next to me for you guys to know how cold it is. It's super cold and I, don't, I still don't wear gloves because I'm used to this and I love this weather so much and we actually have some little snow falling right now. So it's super beautiful and I'm so excited to be back and finally outside and film this introduction for you. I won't be able to film a lot of nice shots tonight, today because of this uh, coldness outside. It's still a bit too cold to spend too much time outside. But I wanna get into to today's video very fast and I wanna do an update on my Ocellaris Clownfish and my Fluo Flex and talk about a little bit about the Eheim 47 uh, open glass aquarium. So hope you guys will enjoy this video and I'll see you back in my fish room. Welcome back guys to my fish room. I'm so happy to be back and it's been so cold where I live. It created so many problems. The vehicles wouldn't start. Just uh, simple things like going to work and keeping yourself warm is uh, became so, so much harder. And I hope you guys will understand because uh, I had some issues uh, going to work. I had some issues with my furnace all that kind of stuff so i was super busy super behind and trying to get all the necessities uh, working again especially with all this cold upon me at this time and we should still be getting this weather for another week so this is insane i hope i can uh, survive this and we can finally come out and be outside a little bit more and enjoy these beautiful natures because it's actually was snowing today so it's super beautiful outside and it's a winter wonderland for sure but the coldness part of it doesn't really uh want, want me to come out there and try to film and all this kind of stuff because it is it is super cold so in today's video guys i want to do an update on my oscillaris clownfish uh fluo flax aquarium and talk about my scan cleaner uh, shrimp and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the future of the Fluo Flex and what's gonna happen. So let's get right into it. So as you see, the, my Eheim uh, aquarium is still sitting in the middle of my fish room. I was that busy that I didn't have time to hide it. But I wanna do a video specifically about it uh, this uh, coming week and talk about uh, my plans with it. But I can only tell you one thing today that I will most likely be creating a reef aquarium and transferring my fluo flax into this because it, I think it will look phenomenal, especially with the reef lights uh, hanging from the top and uh, maybe one or two lights and nice sand, a few rocks would be cool. So let's go and check out my uh, fluo flax. So as of right now, guys, I have a problem with my fluo flax pump. Uh, it doesn't get enough water and it's... Uh, uh, producing a lot of a lot of bubbles so this is partially one of the reasons why I'm planning to upgrade soon but check out this scum cleaner shrimp the colorations of this guy are just phenomenal and on par with the what I was expecting out of this shrimp all my life and I'm super excited to have it in my uh, little aquarium for uh, this time and these uh, cleaner shrimps the, they, uh, when they reach their full size, they look very phenomenal, especially in the reef aquarium, which I'm hoping to build uh, sooner or later. It, but look at this guy. He looks just phenomenal. The coloration and look at this. It just You can look at him for a few hours or even days and you'll still be amazed about how it is in nature and think about what really lies uh, uh, in the ocean and lives in the ocean and there's so many different creatures and they are all there to survive and just like us pretty much just survive and go by their day and hope for the best and my clownfish are doing good as well so this is the bigger guy and uh, this is the guy that we bought not too long ago they're doing phenomenal as well they uh, eat good they swim around they're active and they don't have any issues whatsoever with nobody in the aquarium so my skunk cleaner shrimp, he always uh, active as well. He's uh, looking for something to nibble on. Right now the filter is off, so you see all these little particles, the breeze floating around. I will be changing water in this aquarium uh, right after I make this video. 
and do the regular maintenance and all that kind of stuff but this guy is just phenomenal i i i don't know why shrimp uh, am, amazes me so much like i enjoy shrimp uh, species so much i used to keep peppermint shrimps i used to keep pistol shrimp uh skunk cleaner shrimp the only shrimp that i think i didn't kept was uh well two actually was uh my uh, uh fire shrimp and uh skunk uh, uh, bandit shrimp i believe that's how it's called i'm not too sure but sorry if i'm uh, saying it wrong but that's pretty much the only one that i didn't keep and he's always kind of trying to hide from me right now which is hilarious i also have a few crabs in here but of course when we upgrade to the bigger aquarium there's going to be more fish and more cool stuff and hopefully like my dream my ultimate dream is to have nice corals and all that kind of stuff but you guys know that it's not easy to keep corals and it's not on the cheap side for sure but we can make it work and hopefully uh, the fish and the residents will be happy so this was a quick video guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you guys uh, are uh, tuning in for this one and like you uh, and my Eheim uh, aquarium uh video is actually doing pretty good it keeps rising with views and uh it's actually one video that actually shows you and showcases the actual aquarium so i hope you guys enjoyed the, the fact that i put it out there and tell your friends if someone's interested and i know that in united states you cannot get ehind products anymore unfortunately but i think it's still kind of unique to be able to look and see how every individual guy uh, proceeds with the, with its uh, build and all that kind of great stuff so please stay tuned for more videos there's lots going on lots to come still and i'll see you in my next videos like always and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already